today is January 7th, 2011. I came across this article I wanted to share. It's by Times Square's Chronicles. And um, the article is talking about the moving magnetic north pole may cause the, the uh, mysterious birds and fish and crab deaths. Uh, this theory is, is backing up um, one of uh, YouTubers' uh, theories, Henning Kemner. I wanted to make a note of it. Uh, the steady rapid movement of the magnetic north pole has been responsible for the recent sudden and mysterious death of thousands of birds of fish in the United States. It talks about um, what happened, uh, where the birds were found, Louisiana, Arkansas, Kentucky, Italy, Maryland, England, uh, navigation system for bird and fish for wildlife. They use the uh, the magnetic pole for their uh, their magnetic field, so that they could uh, navigate. It says Earth's magnetic field rely on their eyes more than their magnetic particles in their nostrils. An experiment on Robin suggested these careful tests with homing pigeons and other birds displaying the ability to judge direction and show where the bird are affected by changing magnetic fields. Uh, it talks about the shift of magnetic north, uh, which is pretty interesting here. You can look at this article. I'm going to post the link in the comments below. But what I wanted to draw your attention to here is is uh, this this part right here, where it says uh, more at more evidence of the movement of magnetic north. January 11, uh, 2011, Tampa. Scientists say that the magnetic the, that the magnetic North Pole is moving towards Russia, and the fallout has reached all of of all places. Tampa International Airport, the airport has closed its primary runway until Ju January 13th to repaint the numeric de designators at the end and change the taxiway signage to account for the shift in the location of the Earth's magnetic pole. If these people are changing their uh, paint patterns on their runway, uh, you know that draws some some pretty interesting uh, information. So uh, there's, this article is claiming that the birds uh, were uh, affected by this pole shift, just as uh, Henning Kemner said. Uh, let's go here to uh, the Chile earthquake back in um, May, March, March of 2010, where it says that um, the earth had shifted because of the earthquake. It says, um, and I'll put this link in, in the uh, comments also, the Chile earthquake is isn't the first of the natural, natural disasters in the earth that changed the earth shift. In fact, a day's length was shor shortened by 6.8 microseconds after the tsunami of 2004. Benjamin Fong of NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland explained in 2005, any worldly event that involves the movement of mass affects the earth's rotation. Okay, so um, it says that how does the earthquake change the Earth's, the planet's axis? A sizable quake can shift huge amounts of rock, changing the distribution of the, of the mass on the planet. That change alters the rate at which the planet rotates. The rotation determines the day's length. Scientists explained the key shift was, was at the location of the quake, and in fact the fault sliced through Earth at a steeper angle, making the Chile Fault more effective in moving Earth's mass vertically and hence more effectively, more effect in the shifting of the Earth's figure axis. So they're saying the Earth did change axis with this um, earthquake. Um, it says, according to scientists NASA based on the calculations thus far every day from now on should be 1.6 microseconds shorter while the change probably won't be affecting our daily schedules too much it, it is unsettling to think about how much impact something of this 
concentrate has as an earthquake can have on the entire planet. Interesting. Let's go to Isaiah, where all this is backed up in uh, verse 20, Isaiah 24, verse 1. Behold, Jehovah maketh the, the earth empty and make it waste and turn it upside down. That sounds like pulled shift to me, guys. And scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be with the people, so the priest, as, as with the servant, and so his master, and the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, etc. You can see that the uh, that Isaiah, the prophet, actually talked about pull shifts, and it wasn't just a figurative speaking. It was uh, in actuality, because you go down and read the rest of the uh, Isaiah 24, and you can see uh, what happens when the, we, these things come to place. Uh, so it wasn't just figurative speaking. It was, it says the earth and the people and the shaking of the olive trees. Um, and then it says, uh, the earth shall stagger like a drunken man and shall sway to and fro like a hammock and, hammock and the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it and it shall fall and not rise again. And it will come to pass in that day that Jehovah will punish the, mo the, the host of the high ones on high and the kings of the earth of the earth upon the earth, and they shall be gathered, gathered together as prisoners and gathered in a pit, and they will shut up in a prison, and after many days they will be visited. And the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed, for Jehovah of hosts shall remain in Zion and in Jerusalem, and before his elders shall be glory. So, yes, you know, the Bible does back up all of these theories. Um, I'm not saying this is exactly what happened. I'm just saying uh, every theory is worth taking a look at and uh, I'm not still singling out that it was just a magnetic pole shift and I'm not signaling, singling out that it might not have been HARP or CERN uh, but I just wanted to uh, document these things today and let me know what you think. God bless you all.